Hey, hey, my name is Stephanie. And I'm Chris, and welcome to our open road adventures. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I just being it's, silly. It's one. It's one. <laughs> okay. When I went to college a very, very long time ago, I majored in mass communications and decided to do the television production side because I really, it really resonated with me. I loved TV. I loved mainly behind the scenes, so audio, directing, things of that nature. And so when I got out uh, of college, graduated from college, I got my first uh, gig uh, at a small television station in South Carolina. And my first uh, position was studio cameras. So I worked the cameras for about six months or so, and then they moved me to graphics. I did graphics for a short period of time. Uh, Then I got moved to audio and I did some audio. Um, And then there's another position that I actually never had to do and that's called tapes. And that's where someone uh, stands in the tape deck room and they load video after video. So when you're looking um, at the news and you see the video rolling, uh, that is uh, video from the tape room. So I'd work my way up and got into the director role, and I was responsible for directing the morning news and the noon news. So it all kind of came together all in one shift. So we would get up early in the morning, about four in the morning, uh, to do the morning show. And then the noon show would run right at 12 o'clock noon. And um, the morning show went off without a hitch, no problems. Uh, And then we went into the noon show. Um, and about, I'd say about an hour till, um, I get the scripts from the producer and then I start marking my scripts. And basically, uh, this is when I, um, just put notations on paper that says when the video is rolling and I circle when the a reporter or the, um, in this case, the anchor on the news desk, um, I circle her last, last words. So I know when we're going into a tape, when her mic needs to be cut and so forth and so on. So we're about an hour before the noon show, and I don't have my scripts yet. And so I did think it was kind of odd, but I don't always get the scripts the same time every day. So um, then we're about 30 minutes before the show, before the noon show, so I'm getting a little concerned. So I get up, uh, and I walk back to the, the newsroom, and I go talk to the producer that's actually working the noon show. And I asked her, I was like, hey, you know, we haven't gotten a script yet. Usually we have them by now. And she jumped up um, because she forgot to print the scripts. And so she's running around. She was like, oh, no problem. I'll get them printed and I'll have them to you in the next five minutes. And so I'm like, cool, no problem. So I go back uh, into um, our production room and um, waiting and waiting. And I still haven't seen the producer yet she still has not come back with a script so I get get up and go back into the newsroom and she's running around the printers aren't working they can't print the script something is going on so I went from like oh everything's going to be okay to just straight panic mode and so we're like 15 minutes until the show and the one thing about live news is you don't have an opportunity to do it again you only get one shot. And so if there's a mistake, it goes out live over the air. And so I'm, I'm starting to panic just a little bit. And um, I run back into uh, the production room and I have a quick meeting with everybody. Um, and I'd been doing it for several years, I've been directing for several years. And like I said, I'd worked pretty much all the positions. So I kind of uh, knew how it worked. And so Basically, I told my whole team to rely on me and that I would give out the directions that they needed. At that point in time, I wasn't really sure if I was going to be able to give out those directions, but I had to have confidence in myself that I could do it. Um, About three minutes till, we still don't have scripts. I've got master control uh, giving me control over over the air. And so we're going into the show with no scripts, no directions. Um, I did talk with my anchor as well. And so she was ready. And so I took control. We went live on air and everybody just listened to me. I told the tape lady when to roll the tapes. I let my guy know on audio what to do as far as the audio, when to turn off the mics, when to turn on the mics. And it went over like a hitch. 
The moral of this story is sometimes you are more prepared than you think, and it's really important to trust your instincts. Yeah. All right, true. everybody. Stephanie's gone now, so this video is all mine. Oh. Don't tell her. Do not tell. No, no, this is my video. Oh. I'm still here. Right here. Don't worry, guys. <laughs> Next time I got you, we'll go on a guy adventure <laughs> and we'll leave Stephanie behind. Oh, wow. <laughs>